Hey guys, it's Quirks Turtle here, back with another Ember Knights video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a beginner friendly build. So, with that being said, I'm going to be using the Razor Winds, and I'm not going to start with any relics or skills in the Nexus. I'm not using the Ember Shop, in other words. And the Ember Tree that I think is beneficial for a no Ember Shop run is Earned Vitality, Earned Power, Pocket Change, Confidence, Guardian Angel, Relic Dice, Skill Dice, because the other two don't really do much if you can't find the right skills you want. Refinery, because you can choose which gem you want to double, basically, by not picking up other gems. Um, expansion, because you need the extra choices. And then double, sorry, bonus relic is very, very needed. Um, especially because it's the only way to really scale early game. And uh, once again, yeah, I, I decided to go Razorwind. And the mods I'm going to be using are 132, which is dual strike, your third attack hits twice, uh, your charge attack taper hits twice, and then serrated, your charge attack debuffs enemies, increasing damage dealt to them, and then obviously the ultimate mod burgeoning, which just increases the size of the Razorwind um, when it deals damage. So, no Ember Shop, nothing in my inventory. We're just going to uh, reset these, and I'm going to go with my default uh, speedrun stuff. So that's going to be uh, two haste, four onslaught, one pantheon, one doused, and five blitz. So the goal of this build is to get a healing slash crit heal build. So, on first select here, if possible, we're going to go for a Rejuve Glove. Also, Razorwind just has a lot of DPS. So, it's really easy to clear waves of enemies. Ice Charge is really good, but yeah, we're going to hold out for Cyclone, which is the best. Like Cyclone just allows you to blender them, and it's amazing. Alright, so, Bold Claw is another way to go, because Razorwind starts with 10% crit, but I want to try for the Rejuve Glove, if possible. Uh, it will take the Opal, I guess, and then... I guess we'll go Chrono as well. I didn't really get lucky on that first selector. We used all of our rerolls and only found an opal, which sure it's going to help us, but it doesn't help us right now. The build is pretty good once you get going because it's it's kind of like unkillable. You'll be healing way more than you're uh, taking, but. As of right now, it's kind of a bad spot. Also, you obviously want to scale your crit more. The more you scale your crit, the more healing you'll have. Um, that is, if you actually get the Rejuve Glove. To heal one on crit, um, it can be increased to a max of three. Um, just off of Rejuve Glove itself. And if you get more Opals, that'll also increase it. And we got the harder variant. Not hard, just harder. And then we got skill damage. Oof. Okay, come on, give me a Rage of Glove. That's not Rage of Glove. That's not Rage of Glove either. That's also not reach. There we go. And then might be worth it just to take this for more healing RNG. So Reach of Glove and Juicy Opal is basically the entire build and getting a lot of crit. The whole point of it is just to become like pretty much unkillable. You take damage, you heal it back anyways. Um, like I just took 15 damage there. Um, doesn't really matter as long as you get some more crits, like you can heal back. And that's another good thing with Cyclone, you can, since you just pull all the enemies together, it's very easy to get a lot of hits. 
and uh, you heal up very fast from that. I'm gonna go with the health gem route. Normally, I would go the healing fountain, but I think I'm gonna need this bonus health. Because even, you know, I have good healing, I need to be able to take a hit for it to be useful. I do get a ball broom, but since I'm not speedrunning, there's literally no point in going that route. So we'll take the recovery ring as well. More health is always beneficial. On to the boss fight. Got Ignis, uh... And that was quite unfortunate. So right now, oh my god, I'm, I got stuck in that. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I forgot about all of these phases of this boss. There you go, oh my god. I forgot how hard the boss fights are. With, uh, no relic start. <laughs> I've been using some crazy builds lately. Like, it, it's making it difficult to play the actual game, you know? Nice, right, so we still made it on time for the air package. Crit is beneficial. We got crit, obviously. And on to area two. Hopefully we can get some healing. Uh, that's not healing. We'll take Urn of Vengeance. It's a lot of damage, like a lot of damage. Whenever I kill an enemy, boom, Seeking Ghost. Um, yeah. Seeking Ghost is just really good. It does 150% of your damage. So crit again. Super good. We're getting lucky with the uh, first stat gems that we're getting. Okay, that actually hit me. Ooh, more crit. Uh. Alright, we're up to 32% crit. Solid. Definitely get rid of the crystals first. That is definitely a must. Since there's no crazy build right now, um, getting rid of the crystals is a guaranteed need. If you don't, you're kind of throwing.
Yeah, that reduced damage from uh, the crystals or being enhanced is just way too much. You need to destroy the crystals. Damn, no crit. Guess we're going damage. Anyways, A2 mini boss. Easy, easy win. Man, I actually hate those scouts. Scouts are the guys with crossbows, and it's just so annoying when they just decide to dodge. Let's go damage right. God damn it, I'm getting so many enhanced anyways. Once again, I'm gonna go the the gem route just because that is the route that you guys should be going um, unless you've taken a lot of damage like unless you absolutely need healing at that moment um, you should just take the, the health gem it's more beneficial especially if you're doing this exact build because you can just heal up again like you can see how fast I heal up with like 40% crit You just gotta remember to use the blender strat, which is basically hit the enemies that are grouped up first. Anyways, on to area two boss, Lord Burma. The sword phase, I like to go to a wall and just wait for the sword to come at me and then dodge. Um, when he charges, you're supposed to charge him into a pillar, but it's alright if you don't. If you charge him into a pillar, he will get stunned. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, the, the sword one, I, I like to be against a wall and just dodge. A roll whenever it gets close. It seems the easiest to uh, allow you to dodge them. Also, Bruma is quite easy, so don't be don't be scared about it. Um, Bruma doesn't really attack very fast. Like that was with max onslaught, max attack speed. Please be crit. Let's go. We got more crit. We're at 40% crit. Our relics haven't even been like super good or anything. Like we have chronograph, which is unneeded. And even recovery ring. It's, it's not as good as it could be. If those are two opals or like uh, two region gloves, it would just make our healing go through the roof. And pretty much unkillable. Damn. Uh, this giant mace.
Mark it. Easy dub. This is one of the most annoying enemies right here. That elite uh, dagger guy. He can throw the daggers. It's really annoying. Roll. Let's go. This is one of the best items for this build. So, whenever you heal, your crit is increased for 3 seconds. But it's increased by 25%. So whenever I crit, I'll be sitting at 69% crit, which means I'll always be healing, which means I'll always have that extra 25% crit. Now, that's probably the best relic for this build, other than just getting more Rejuve Gloves and Juicy Opals, because it allows you to actually crit more often. But you can already see that my healing is just going crazy. Like, I'm critting almost every hit. I mean, it's like 70% of the time, so it makes sense. And every time I crit, I heal for 2 because Rejuve Glove is 1 and then GC Opal increases that by 1. So, I'm healing for 2 every single crit. And I still have decent damage. Like, as long as I don't get stunned, this build is pretty damn easy. Also solid, we got the health gem. It's also healing in this room if you absolutely need it. There's uh, three apples in the room. No wonder why this is the build that people use for, uh, demons. If you didn't know, demons is the hardest challenge in the game. Which is every single difficulty modifier on. No ember shot. And it's just ridiculously hard. Also another 4% crit. Let's go. You can give one gold to these wells, and there's a slight chance that it gives you a relic, stat gems, or an apple. Or at least those are the things that I've seen slash heard people uh, say that they've gotten. So this is generally a pretty weird fight. Um, mostly because there's a lot of stunning projectiles, which can definitely end your run. Oh my god, so close. Just need a little bit more damage. Just don't get stunned, please. There we go. <laughs> One crit. 
Let's go. Double health. So one noticeable thing is, without buying starting relics, the runs become much slower. Because obviously you don't have the initial boost of uh, damage or just your scaling or uh, good relics at the start. So like you can't just get a crazy build at the start like a combustion stone flurry build or a combustion stone hammer volcanic rift build. Like it definitely makes the game a little bit harder and makes it more mechanical, I guess, as in you need to actually play well. Um, however, this build is kind of an exception, in my opinion. You don't really have to play well for this build to work. You just have to get good RNG and not die. Ooh, okay. This is another great thing for this build. Archangel Scythe. Whenever you heal, you deal damage to nearby enemies, and it's 10 damage, and it scales by 10 damage every single level you get. And I think it maxes out at level 4 or level 5. So it's a lot of damage that you can get. Like, a lot. And since I'm critting on basically every single attack, it's pretty easy to uh, get a lot of damage off of it. in this room. I don't think so. Damn, it's really unfortunate. Because the next options are Bob, which I could do, but don't need to do, and then Refinement Shop, and I think it's expensive to get these. Okay, no, it's not. I can get one more Rage of Glow, which is good. I'll increase my healing by one every crit then. Alright. You don't have to wait for the animation to finish either. It, it's just instantly given to you. Everything is getting enhanced. Like, honestly, what is this run? There's been so many enhanced enemies. Wow, that's actually crazy how many enhanced enemies I've had. crit up to 80% crit so you can pair lightning with this build as well so you have a uh, lightning heal crit because obviously bolt claw procs off of um, critting they have really high crits and uh, I can't believe I screwed up the one cycle not the one cycle but like killing one of them Right, there you go. Oh, they're dead. That's no, easy. Yep. Also, if you're having a tough time in A4, destroy the Tesla coils first. They they enhance the enemies and make the enemies go crazy. Gives them like a speed boost, a damage boost. An attack speed boost and it gives them um, a new attack so it's it's really bad to have the uh, Tesla coils alive and just zap an enemy's left right and center so how much could we up to up to 85% with the uh, ripe elderberry we'll head to the shop so we can get Nothing the answer. We can't buy nothing. You could get agility and stuff, but not really worth it. Alright, so this is the enhanced room that's like guaranteed. 
Um, once again, I'm going to follow the same rule set, which is destroy the crystals first, and then just kind of go crazy, like a pet. Um, yeah. It would be nice to have more region gloves slash opals, so I could be actually healing a little bit more per crit. But, as it is right now, it's pretty good. Do I need any of those? Nope. It's just to have it to do that. So this is probably going to be the hard fight if you are going this build. Mainly because of the sheer amount of projectiles. But you can kind of mitigate that by killing all of the minions, so you don't have the minions to worry about. And then also just make sure you're charge attacking, get the most amount of hits off on an enemy to hopefully proc as many crits as possible. Plus, by this point, you should be able to just outheal everything, like I just did there. Like I just stood in that last phase, just attacking the boss. Yeah, we'll go with damage. Damage is beneficial. Could have went for more health, but I think we're good at our, our like 170 health that we're at or something like that. 190. Yeah, I think we're good at health. Let's go. The crate got enhanced. We're not enhanced, but like uh, bonuses. Let's start. I don't have to go chasing down it. Pick up the big one first so it gets doubled. And we're basically at 100% crit. 99% to be exact, actually. It's kind of funny. And I know we're actually only at 74%, but then Ripe Elderberry, once I start the crit chain, I uh, basically won't stop the crit chain. Oh, now we're definitely at 100%. We are at 76% plus the 25% there, that's 101%. Easy 100% crit build. I don't think we have enough to actually upgrade any relic. In fact, I'm like 100% sure we don't have enough to upgrade any relic. Well, all that stuff spawned like on the portal. How am I supposed to pick up any of that? Also, an ornate glove? <laughs> Another 5% crit? For like literally no reason? Alright, so skill selector, since it's gonna be a single room. Well, possibly if that is. I just realized we're getting our second skill now. Oh my god, we're so late into the run getting a second skill. Holy. Am 
Might as well just go to the uh, refinement shop. See if there's literally anything we can upgrade, which there isn't. Everything is too expensive. I think 412 is the lowest. Yeah. Damn. Since you don't get any gold in A5, it's kind of just unlucky. And it's very hard to scale whatsoever from this area. You just don't get gold. I'm not doing all of the rooms. We're just gonna move on to the boss fight here. This video is already taken up quite a while. Um, just to quickly reiterate for the boss fight, basically the entire build is scale crit, get some rage of gloves, get some opals, and that's basically it. That's literally it. You just wanna be able to heal on crit and get your crit chance to basically 100%, and you're become pretty unkillable, to say the least. Like, I am just sitting in this. Like, I'm just sitting at 200 health, because I'm healing way more than I'm taking. Oh no, I got them down to a threshold that kind of sucks. This is just like a, a waiting game kind of thing. This is ridiculously annoying. It's, there's literally nothing you can do besides dodge. Oh no, I took damage? Oh no. Oh no, I'm actually taking damage? Doesn't even matter. Anyways, yeah, that, that's the build. Just straight up, good old crit heal build. That's it. And probably the easiest build to get your first win on. Or even get a Doom win on. So this was Doom. Uh, that's about all I got for the build, to be honest. I'll uh, do a quick overview once we get to the end screen. Not endless. Alright, so we did it in 20 minutes, like, to be honest, that's quite long, but for a November shop run, not bad, I guess, I don't know. Um, also, it's not even a fast build, per se, it's just more of a survivability build, so if you take a while doing it, don't worry about it. Um, as long as you win, that's all that really matters. So, moving on to the build itself. The build is very, very simplistic. You need to get crit, which I ended up with 80% crit basically um however i have ripe elderberry so whenever i healed my crit would be increased by 25 percent and every time i crit i heal so these two rigid glove and ripe elderberry was just guaranteeing me having a bonus 25 percent crit which is very good and then uh so that, that's the main part of the build is rigid glove um keeps you healing Opal boosts that healing by one or up to three, depending on the level of it. And then Archangel Scythe gives damage um, or has an AoE of damage around you when you heal. And you should be healing quite often with this build. So it's just 10 flat damage across all the enemies around you um, every single time you heal, which should be every single crit. And you can level this up to either four or five. I can't remember what the max is, but I'm pretty sure it's four or five uh, minimum four at least and that's kind of all you need like in in reality those are the only four relics that you actually need in the build the rest is just kind of filler and is uh more damage healing so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this build if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like on it if you want to see more content like this subscribe so you never miss another video from me and if you have any 
build suggestions, any ideas or um, specific things you want to see me try, just put them in the comments. I read every single comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But for now, I'll catch you guys in the next one.